Hey everyone, it's Zoe here from Octo Studio. Uh, so I like gardening games a lot, so I thought it would be fun to show you how you can make your own gardening game on the phone. So yeah, by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make your own game like this one. Let's get started. So to get started with your project, you can open up Octo Studio and then tap Create New Project. And you can choose a backdrop for your garden game. You could obviously choose one of the backdrops here. You could also take a photo of the grass somewhere. You could also, if you wanted to, upload a photo by tapping Photos, and I think I'm going to do that. I got this background from Animal Crossing, and I think I'm going to use it to give that cozy feeling. But uh, yeah, now you can add a sprite, and you can really add whatever things you want. Well, if it'll load. Yes, it loaded. You could add fruits and vegetables. You could also, where's the nature category? Oh yeah, there's lots of plants here and flowers that you could add. Um, and yeah, I think I will add a tree. I actually think I want to have an orange tree in my garden, so I'll tap this button to add another sprite, um, and I'm going to add an orange to have it be on the tree. Actually, it's about as big as the tree now, so I'm going to uh, make it smaller. Oh, that was making the tree smaller. Okay, so I've got my little orange tree that I wanted. Let me show you how to make it so that you could pick something from the garden. One way to do that in Octo Studio is if you tap on the scene category, there's this block, hide, and if you drag it out and tap it, you can see that it makes the sprite disappear. You can always tap the play button to make it appear again. And to make it so that when you tap on the orange, it disappears, well, there's this block in the when to start category called when tap. And if you drag that out and attach it on top of the hide block, now, whenever you tap, well, okay, if I tapped it right, it would have happened. Uh, let's make it bigger. Um, whenever you tap on the orange, it will disappear. And like I was saying, you can always tap the play button to make it reappear so you can pick it again. And yeah, let's actually also make it play a sound when it does that. And you can do that by tapping on the words and sounds category. And you can attach this block, play sound, underneath. And so now when you tap the orange, let's go full screen, it will hide and play a sound. And you could keep tapping the play button to make the orange come back. But you could also, if you want it to reappear after you pick it, you could go to the scene category again. And drag out a show block, and this will make it so that if I tap the orange, it hides, plays the sound, and then comes back. You could also, if you wanted to, go to the control category and drag out a wait block to make it wait a little bit before it shows. And so you can kind of control how long you want it to wait. So let's try one second. So now if you tap it, it waits a second, then comes back. And yeah, you can adjust it to whatever you want, you know, putting in, putting in, three seconds will make it a good bit longer. Let's see how that goes. Three hours later. There it is. So yeah, it's really up to you how much you want it to wait in your project. Now, there's tons more things you could add to your garden. One thing you could do is you could add a flower that changes color when you tap on it. So it's sort of like you can paint and design your garden. So let me show you how to do that. I'll tap on this add a sprite button again. And then I'm gonna go to the nature category. I'm gonna add this pink one, I think it's very pretty. And drag it over here. Right now my flower is like quite large, so I'm going to make it smaller. And to make the flower be able to change color, in the colors and light category, there is this block, change color, how fitting. And if you tap on it, you'll see what it does. You can basically, change the color of the flower. And you know, if you change the number that's in here, it'll change it by kind of a different amount around the color wheel. So uh, you can experiment with different ones. This 40 will change it by more than 20. And uh, maybe I'll try 60. So it like goes from pink to like green to blue, all these things. And just like with the orange, we can make this happen when the player taps on the flower. So let's try that out. Now you can tap the flower to change the color. And we can make it play a sound as well, so I'll drag out the play sound block and let's give that a shot. Nice. And you know, you can also tap here if you want to change the sound. And I think maybe I'll get the click sound. I think that'll be nice for a color change. So if I tap the flower, I can change the color and it plays a sound. Now, one other thing you can do is now that you have this flower, if you tap, I did that kind of fast, but if you tap on this flower icon here, you could actually tap here to duplicate it. Now we'll create another flower with the same code as the first flower. So now I have two flowers that I can do that same thing with. So they both have this code to 
when the player taps on them, change color and play a sound. So now you have multiple flowers that you can design in your garden. And I mean, why stop there? You could duplicate it a lot of times. Okay, if you do it a ton of times at a certain point, I got Octo Studio to crash. So there's a limit, I don't know what it is. And then, you know, you can arrange them however you want. I'm gonna make a little design here. And now, you know, they've all got the change color code. So, you know, you could paint them however you want for your garden. Actually, maybe I'll make the bottom row all purple and the top row all blue, and that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, you could do anything you like. Anyway, uh, that is what I wanted to show you today for how to make a gardening game. Uh, there's, of course, tons of things you could add on to this. Um, yeah, if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you make. I'll see you in the next video.